good uh, evening to you, Prophet. Uh, basically, having you on these platforms makes a lot of significance for the fact that you've been a very fundamental speaker uh, to the truth and power uh, for the last three and a half years. Your prediction and prophecy that brought the president-elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is of no doubt a monumental uh, bulldozer that has changed the minds of an average African. Of course, with what we are seeing today, May 29th should and of course must be the inauguration date for the new president and the transition of power. Tell us what you have for Nigerians and where do, you, where do we stand as we speak? Good evening, beautiful people and um, wonderful press brothers in the house. My name is Prophet Godwin Nkuru. Happy Sunday to every one of you. Yes, we are here. We are hoping on the new Nigeria and um, the inauguration that is coming on board, which is May 29. Uh, God said no one should be an obstacle of this. You see, like uh, uh, the Cardinal John, who is speaking that uh, the inauguration should be postponed. Uh, he lacked wisdom and he lacked knowledge on that. Because what God says must come to pass. The will of God is what must come to pass. As such is a project of God. And no man can stand against it. Um, the Christian body should know now that Aswanju is coming to rescue this nation. It's a project. And nobody should stand against this project. Because May 29 is the beginning of the transformation of Nigeria. May 29. So every Nigeria should join hand together to make sure that Nigeria uh, have the true happiness and the true joy. The issues of so many noise coming from different pastors who are talking down on the president-elect. You see, I will also say that it's a lack of knowledge that they are saying all those things because Aswanju is a man that loves people. He's a father with a mindset of regulation and unity. Yeah, I want to also deal with the issues of um, the issue of um, Shei, you know, the news coming from everywhere that trying to bring the allegation against a young man. So she is a, is a family man and he's also a businessman. He's a full grown man who, if God bless a man, no man, if God bless you, no man can curse you. So she is a blessing. You know, a young man who is sound in business, who is doing his own business. So anyone who will try to bring allegation against him concerning that he bought a house in London, uh, she is a grown-up child who can even fear for himself. So doing something that uh, he has a, pro a particular property in London, it shouldn't be something that they will use to be against anybody. It should be a celebration. Everybody wants a child to prosper. So if your child prospers and he bought a house, they, they, it should be a thing of happiness, not a thing of allegation. So Nigeria should try to make sure that uh, they cover their own, not to expose their own. You see, this government that is coming forth right now is a government of blessing. No man can challenge it. And I keep saying it, that the elders of this nation, this is a time for unity. This is a time to, to unify the country. You see, to unify the country, to unify the country because the country has faced a lot of distraction. Because why? This one goes with his mind here, this one goes with his mind there. So this is a time to walk with a man who has the unified spirit. As long as a man who unifies everybody together, 
in one mind, in one God. And also, I want to say to uh, Pabio, um every Senate, the Senate uh, members should support him. Full chest, I support Akpabio. And I want to say to everyone who is supporting him already, may God bless everyone. Because I know Akpabio will not fight against the progress of Nigeria. He will fight for the unities of Nigeria. So we will fight for the unities of everyone. Akpabio is a man with uh, deep wisdom. He's a man who has done it. He has a track record. The track record he has in Uyo when he in Akwaibo, when he was a governor, he did well. So such kind of person is a man you can give a heavy tax for. When he was a governor, he tried. The issue that was facing uh, Akwaibo as a whole, Uyo as a whole, he did it. And today Uyo is now a mini city. A mini, a mini, like, a lot of things are still coming back to that place. A development is still coming. So we see Akpabio as a man who has what is called the talent of beautifying people's life. At this time, if Akpabio become the senior president, which God has chosen to be, I see Nigeria flying in the eagle's wing. And I know that it is our time. And Nigeria will reign again. God bless you. I remain prophet Godwin. Go, thank you.